Jules, Crisley and Todd are taunted by other inmates and thus, Crisley knows Best's drama only becomes bigger. Despite serving prison sentences for tax fraud and evasion, Todd and Julie Crisley are still displeased with the many issues that accompany incarceration. Black mold, asbestos, a lack of air conditioning, and even snakes on the floor were a few issues. Todd, Julie, and their children have looked for ways to jailbreak their parents and get them back home for all of these reasons, among others. Already, many feel that the sentence reduction from 12 to 10 years was unfair. Currently, their whole focus is on bringing them back home after her parents were placed in jail, 26-year-old Savannah Crisley has not hidden her dissatisfaction of the way they have been treated. Her podcast has often included her discussion on the conditions at their two campuses, and who wants to tell Savannah, well, that life in prison ain't no vacation at the hotel. Not that really matters, I guess, as she is still fighting, thanks to the Court of Appeals accepting their oral arguments and allowing Savannah to explain why her parents should stay at home, Savannah just sent a thank you message on Instagram. Despite this, a lot of people are still displeased with the Crisley's perceived entitlement to preferential treatment, both inside and outside of prison, her openness, according to Savannah, had made things worse for the people who were behind bars. A lot of backlash has occurred, she said. As a result, we need to worry to be why continuously complaining about their situation, Todd and Julie are also not doing themselves any favors. In Touch reports that neither convicts nor employees have been receptive to their opinions. The inmates view Todd and Jewel as smarmy know-it-alls, and there has been a lot of taunting both behind their backs and to their faces, according to an insider report, what the hell did they expect would happen after all that continual moaning? How are they going to live, honestly, with such taunting?